Hi, this is Ian Wong, you guys can call me Philip, the team leader of Video Friends, and today we're going to review the Basecamp SFX CLYW Pariah. Now, Basecamp is formed originally by, I think it was Euro Factory and CLYW, and now they've expanded to a lot of other different companies. This is one of them, uh, CLYW XSF, and uh, this is a Pariah. So, basically what this you know, is, um, is you take a cadence, or Cadence Yes, and then a CLYW Akita, which something I forgot to try in World Euro Championship. Uh, that's silly me. So they combine those two years together, and then you get a Pariah. So I can't wait to uh, see how that works, because I really, really enjoy the Cadence Yes. Okay, uh, let's have a first look on this area. Firstly, the diameter is fairly average. It's not a little bit below average like some of the SF, like the CF. And I think it was 55.55 or something like that. And then the width, it's just like a Cadence CS. It's pretty wide. Uh, overall, very, you know, modern shape, you know, especially for the Western players. Like the spec is very modern. So you can see this Akita thing going on in the center. Uh, got this uh, hub here. And then uh, definitely the shape does remind me of a, once again, the Cadence CS, like one of my favorite mono metal. So really good. Um, 7068, I think. The walls are very thin. I'm, I'm guessing it's 7068. And uh, the rings are pretty big. Not like extremely big like the CF, but um, fairly big. So I think that, uh, you know, I don't think it's going to beat the power of CF, but definitely going to give that a little bit more nimbleness because of its shape. Uh, it's more of a V instead of an H like the CF. Okay, so. Um, I will have the spec of this yo-yo right here. And uh, first thing we're going to do is the smoothness test, since uh, this is my Matt's yo, yo but he just got a new at World Yo Championship, and I just got it immediately afterwards, so I can test the smoothness of this yo-yo. Um, it is 9.5 to 10 out of 10 smooth. Uh, I would say like a 9.8, so very, very smooth. Good job, uh, base cam especially SF and CLYW. Okay, uh, now the speed test. Do that again. Just joined a table tennis league recently, so I'm pretty tired right now. But, you know, hopefully I can push this video. So speed on this video is very fast. Uh, like immediately after throwing this, it just reminds me of the Cadence CX. Uh, I just really gotta try to heat it, I think, because it's those two I think combined. So I will rank the speed uh, medium fast around there. Um, I would say this oil is slightly faster than both the, oh god, both the Ray Tracer and also the CF. I think this oil is just slightly faster than these two which these two have around the same speed. So that is very, very cool. Uh, I also think that this is just slightly, slightly, slightly slower than the Cadence CS. Not by much, but like, you know, it's like 2% two, 2 difference or like even lower than that. Uh, it just feels slightly slower, but it's around the same speed as the Cadence CS. So very, very good there. I really like the speed. Okay, uh, power on this video. Power on this video is really good. You do get that bimetal feeling, which is really nice. Um, I won't say it's as, as powerful as the CF, um, but definitely it's got a lot of power. You definitely feel more power than it than the Cadence Yes, because this is an inner ring bimetal. And the rings are pretty big, so power no problem. Long combos shouldn't be any problem at all. Really good there. Uh, stability, once again, I can't fault on stability at all. The rain does kick in, um, you know, at super high stress places where you need a lot of stability for that, and this video definitely got it. Um, I would say the stability is slightly slower than the Ray Tracer and the CF, but it's just, just like, you know, a couple percent, which is really good because those two other yo's are like most of this like one of the most stable two of the most stable in a ring i've ever played so 
this is definitely up there well done in stability department flowiness it's really good it's got that very nice nimble feeling to it just like the cadence yes which is why i really like that a lot and this video does not bottom out like too much or even at all so even at higher speed uh, you do feel this floatiness and this you really want to work with you uh, just like the cadence yes once again it's really close to the cadence yes a uh, little bit in play and it's just really nice flow in this video uh, very good there too floatiness it's got you know some kind of float not too much um, once again, like the cadence, yes, but a little bit less because of its two rings, especially at a higher speed, it's a little bit less. But at a slower speed, uh, you feel a little bit more float there, but that's not like too big of a deal. Mainly, mainly this video has more flowiness than floatiness. Okay, now the bind. So this video is using the CLYW snow tires instead of the traditional 19 millimeter pads. So um, bite on this is actually surprisingly good. I think the gap width is smaller than you know most of the SF. I'm using Kitty Normal and my binds are actually like pretty good. So uh, because Kitty Normal is my main string, by the way, uh, Kitty Normal is fine for me. But I was recommend you know Kitty Fab just to be safe. Uh, so say Kitty Normal to Kitty XL. Those are the strings. Uh, which is right at my ballpark because I really like the gap was slightly narrower because I like thin strings but you know kitty fat on this should be the best optimal string uh, here okay um horizontals Okay, horizontals, it's for me really, really good. Uh, the speed on this video, it's exactly what I wanted, especially in the horizontal plane. Uh, for me, like the speed for horizontal is perfect. Uh, this video might change direction a little bit, kind of too much that I wanted, but not too much. Um, other than that, you know, this thing shreds in horizontal plane. I cannot fault this at all. Really, really good. Just amazing yo-yo know, in horizontal. Um, now all the other stuff. So 7068 aluminum, finger finger grinds, zero problem. This finish is really good. It's like super good. Like I can go for a very long time. Really good there. Thumb grinds, you can do it, but you're touching the SS ring. So it's not a pleasant experience, but you can still definitely do it. You can hear that grinding of SS rings. Finger spin. It's, uh, it's around average, um, actually a little bit above average because when you swerve around, this thing can actually kind of guide your fingers uh, because of the cup design. So I would say above average in finger spin. Really nice there too. So let's have an overall view of who I recommend to get this video. So firstly, uh, this video is super nice, super fast. Nim like it has a very nice nimbleness feeling. The flow is there too, just like the Cadence ES. I will say this video is very close to Cadence ES, but have a little bit more power. And if you remember my first ever review video on the Cadence ES, I was like, I wish it would have a tiny bit, little bit more power, especially in the horizontal plane. And this video definitely fix it. So absolutely nailed uh, what I kind of complained about on the Cadence ES. This thing is really awesome. Uh, power is there, stability is there. It's the controllability of this show is really nice, just like the inner ring. I won't say it's as controllable as the CF because of like more weight and stuff, but definitely this picks up the speed on that yo-yo. So that is very, very good. Um, other than that, I think I recommend this yo-yo to play it from medium to medium fast pace, just like the Cadence CS. If you like the Cadence CS, uh, this video definitely mm -hmm. is for you. It's got a power stability. Uh, it's actually my favorite, you know, SF related yo-yo. So very good job, CF. I mean, SF and CLYW. I really enjoyed this yo-yo. And uh, yeah, like really, really nice. The only thing a gripe about, I would say, is uh, you have to get snow tires. 
because like I usually use 90 millimeter pads and since I'm a sponsored player I get them for free but you know if I were to get this year I need like to buy a bunch of snow tires but other than that this year was super good I definitely recommend this all right next time I'm going to review the I forgot like cold brew by throw cafe uh, cafe there you go really nice you know, that is the year I'm going to review next time all right see you guys